multiply 3 plus 5i multiplied by negative 7 minus 2i. Every complex number has a real component and an imaginary component. When you're multiplying two complex, two or more complex numbers, you can kind of think of this as polynomials, or specifically binomials. And in that case, when you have uh, one complex number multiplied by another, you can think of it as using FOIL to multiply these. Now, absolutely, the i is not, is not a, a variable here. It, it represents the imaginary part of this complex number. But if you think of it like a variable, then in this portion of the multiplication, then that'll help you to, to perform this just like you're multiplying um, uh, polynomials. So let's start with 3 times negative 7. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. 3 times negative 2i is negative 6i. And then we continue with 5i times negative 7 and 5i times negative 2i. 5i times negative 7 is negative 35i. And 5i times negative 2i would be negative 10i squared. Okay, let's combine some like, I'll call them like terms. If, again, these i's are not variables, but but uh, you can think of them like that. To You're going to combine this, this imaginary part of the complex number. We have negative 6i and negative 35i. And that'll give us negative 21 minus 41i minus 10i squared. All right, brief sidebar on the i business. We're not done yet with this. i equals the square root of negative 1. Well, then i squared would equal the square root of negative 1 quantity squared. And when you square a square root, you get what's inside, what's under the radical. So i squared equals negative 1. So we could plug in negative 1 for i squared and continue that. Uh, in fact, let's just do that right now. I will just plug in negative 1 for i squared. I'm going to rewrite the rest of the problem. Negative 21 minus 41i minus 10 times negative 1. Negative 10 times negative 1 gives us a positive 10. So negative 21 plus 10 minus 41i. I hope that didn't catch you off guard. I just wrote the plus 10 over here. Okay, um, negative 21 plus 10 is negative 11. Negative 11 minus 41i. So that is multiplying complex numbers. And now just to complete this with the i business, this imaginary part, this i to the third then would equal i squared multiplied by i to the first, right? So i squared is negative 1, so negative 1 times i, or negative i. And then i to the fourth, if you ever come across this, is uh, negative, well, let's break it down. i squared multiplied by i squared, because i squared is, um, i squared times i squared is i to the fourth, and that equals negative 1 times negative 1, because of what we did here, so i to the fourth equals positive 1. Okay, so a little bit extra, but uh, over the green here is how we multiply complex numbers.